Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be talking about ketones, DKA, and my experience with them. This week, JDRF has partnered up with Beyond Type 1 to focus on DKA awareness and education. So I will be linking a bunch of really, really helpful resources on the topic below this video that you should definitely check out. Um, but before I get into my story and my experience, I want to give a brief overview of what DKA is and some of the symptoms you should look out for, you know, for anyone who isn't familiar with it. So DKA stands for diabetic ketoacidosis and essentially it happens um, when your body doesn't have enough insulin in it. So lack of insulin. And so when this happens, your body can't break down glucose for energy and instead turns to fat for energy. So when this happens, ketones start forming in your bloodstream and you know your blood can become acidic and then the more ketones that build up in your bloodstream, um, eventually can lead to you being in DKA or diabetic ketoacidosis. And this is a life-threatening, very dangerous complication um, of diabetes and you know requires immediate medical attention, which is why it is so important to know the causes, the signs, the symptoms, you know, for anyone living with type one diabetes and also for people who don't have type one, because that is a way that you can um, recognize the symptoms in someone who has yet to be diagnosed with type 1. And while it's really common that we see DKA, you know, in people who are newly diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, people who are currently living with type 1 are also at risk for DKA. Um, and it's not just because of lack of insulin, although that is one of the causes. Um, you can also be at risk for DKA if you have an illness, a virus, an infection. Um, you could be at risk if you are taking certain medications, if you're undergoing some sort of stress or trauma, and then also lack of insulin like I mentioned before. So if your pump site goes bad, or if you skip a dose of insulin, or if your insulin levels are you know, not right and you need to adjust them to be taking more, there's a bunch of different causes you know, that could put you at risk for DKA, um, which is why it's really important to you know, understand what the signs and symptoms are and be ready to catch them quickly um, if they present themselves. Some really common symptoms of DKA are frequent urination, extreme thirst, high blood sugar levels, high levels of ketones in your urine, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, confusion, fruity smelling breath, fatigue. It's really important that, you know, if you think you're at risk for ketones, so if you're sick or if you're taking a different medication or if you're stressed or, you know, you think your pump site may be malfunctioning or your blood sugar's high, that you are checking for ketones because, you know, you want to catch it at the beginning. You want to catch it before you get to DKA. You want to um, be able to treat right away. And so luckily there are ways that you can check for ketones. There's, you know, blood ketone meters. There's urine strips that you can buy at the pharmacy. And like I mentioned, there are some resources below that will give you more information on, um, you know, ways that you can check for ketones on your own and, you know, hopefully prevent DKA if you are at risk for it. So the reason I am such a big advocate of checking for ketones, if you think you might have them or be at risk for them, um, is because when I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, I had DKA, I was in DKA and um, it was really terrible. Um, so much so that, you know, towards the end, I was losing consciousness and I almost died of DKA and that's just because you know I didn't know that what I the symptoms that I had were you know that I had type 1 diabetes um, and I had all the common symptoms of DKA I was losing weight I was thirsty I was going to the bathroom a lot my vision was blurry I was tired all the time and nauseous and you know I went to the doctor with these symptoms and unfortunately it wasn't caught by my physician at the time and so I was sent home um, where you know my symptoms only got worse and worse to the point where I was losing consciousness and so I know what it's like to be in DKA and um, how terrible that feels and just how quickly it happens um, because it progressed really really quickly for me um, in just a few days and so I always want to prevent that so nowadays if I think I have ketones you know I'm checking for them um, with a urine strip or a ketone blood meter um, and I'm making sure that I'm doing everything I can to make those ketones go away so that I don't go into DKA because um, I know just how terrible it feels. That's why it's so important to be checking for ketones if you think you have them um, and have a way to check them at home. So like I said, there are a bunch of really helpful resources down below. Um, please take a look at them. You know, DKA is um, 
very dangerous and it's so important that we just understand our bodies understand you know when we're feeling the signs and symptoms so that we can um, treat as quickly as we can and just avoid DKA and all the terrible you know symptoms and complications that come with it so thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time